Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Magic the Gathering and how much I love Wizards of the Coast. So we're not going to change. We can either choose to be silent and say, yes, Wizards of the Coast, yes. You make excellent card quality. I'm so glad Iconic Masters is one half the MSRP. Or we can go down in a great ball of flame and burn as much as we can on, along the way. And I think I'm going to choose the latter. So tomorrow we're going to have an interesting video on Wedge. And we will talk about Wedge. Actually, Wedge will talk about Wedge and Wedge's own words. I'm not going to put stuff in his mouth. I'm just going to show you what he's already said. Then on Thursday, we're going to talk about the famous Frank. And Frank is just a creepy dude, but we all know that creepy dude who is older, maybe 40, 50, and then he's hitting on the teenagers at your local FNM or local GP. That's kind of Frank. Not officially a registered offender, but pretty creepy nonetheless. I'm not going to stop. You have to embrace your destiny. And my destiny is to be the MTG drama channel. That is this channel's eventual destiny. It always has been. My other channel, New Law Student, a lot of you won't remember, but it was one of the first YouTube channels in Magic the Gathering. It was the first. It was before MTG Finance Reddit existed. And I had a bitter battle with them, tooth and nail. And I swore to myself I would never let them win. Partially why I've been lazy recently is because I'm bigger than that, their MTG Finance Reddit. And that's made me lazy. The best thing that can actually happen is they get bigger than me and then I get my act together. And I actually research and do a good job and tell you what cards to buy. But none of this. Let's talk about Wizards of the Coast. I'm just going to read you some of this BS. Magic judges a fan-run community. Oh, interesting. Fan-run community. Seems like you're distancing yourself. And separate, oh, there, duh, from Wizards of the Coast, regularly post anniversary blogs, which sometimes include erroneous, erroneous, wow, anniversaries for former judges not currently certified, either because of lapsing certification or active decertification due to conduct. Retailers and TOs are responsible for staffing events they run and are required to comply with all laws. We will continue to work with retailers. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's just be really honest. If you don't have judges, how would you have tournaments? And why are judges not employees? Why are judges paid by local game stores that are getting absolutely demolished by Iconic Masters right now? They got demolished by Unstable Reprint number two, and they barely make ends meet. They host your event for you. They run the event for you. They hire the person, maybe multiple people, the judge and then the store manager to stay at the event. And a lot of these events are not profitable in any sense. And what do they get? They get FNM tokens. Is that what the exchange is? They get WPN boxes for $78 a box when you can buy on eBay, Amazon, anywhere cheaper. That's what they get. All right, here's, here's the real talk. Wizard of Coast, <laughs> you guys are idiots. You guys are idiots. Um, you have no idea what's coming next. But I can tell you, because I work a tiny bit in PR. Having Elaine Chase, who I believe is the vice president, have a very vague statement about how you're not liable because the judges are not really your employees and they're just random people. And it's not up to you to monitor these random people. That makes you seem like a really crappy company. An incredibly bad company and your brand will suffer immensely because of it instead of saying hey we understand that you're worried 
and we're going to uh, pay for background checks on the judge program. And we're going to clean up the program. Instead of saying that they went with denial, denial, denial. We didn't know what's going on. We don't even know we have judges. What, what's a magic gathering judge? Like, wait, wait, what? That's what they're saying. They're saying that they are not connected with the judge program at all. Although they pay the judge program in promos and cards and rewards. I mean, does anyone remember the Teresa Nielsen for Art Lands that they gave a packet of to each judge, even a level one judge, I believe? That thing was worth $500. Is that not payment? They are mired in this legal thing. Yes, a judge is going to real a real life judge, not a magic gathering judge. A real life judge is going to be like, hmm, you gave them a packet of cards worth $500. Why did you do that? Oh, because we were being nice. They're, they're not associated with us. They don't run our programs. At the end of the day, all of this will come back. All karma really is vengeful. All of this will come back and bite Wizards of the Coast in the ass. I guarantee it to you. No matter how many videos that Tolarian and Wedge make with the, how amazing this product is, the very fact that the people you depend on, your biggest supporters, the judges are being run over with a bus or an ice cream van is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. And more to the point, let's just get straight to the point. The fact that you're not taking responsibility, you haven't shown a path of a solution, you have admitted the problem, but you have offset the problem by saying it's not your problem, it's someone else's problem, and we're not associated with that someone else, makes you look incredibly, incredibly terrible as human beings. Magic the Gathering will, will keep existing. It will keep going on. And I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to call out people who have not been called out. I mean, this Frank story, it has been around for a long time. Why hasn't anyone said it? We all know that creepy random dude who's boating and he's 40, 50 years old and he's hitting on females and GPs who are 18, 19, 20 maybe. Yes, it's not illegal, but damn, it's creepy. And no one says anything. No one stands up. You know what? I hope you stand up. I hope the next time you see this really creepy dude, this creepy, creepy dude, who's 50 years old, and he's trying to hit on these teenagers, you say, hey, get the blank out. Beelines. Don't be cowards. That's it. Bye.